And Scott, I'm not quite sure how to sum up that first half. The shots were the better side, but 3-0 down in 48 minutes. Yeah, that, exactly that. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've moved the ball well. We've created some really good chances in the first half. And, um, you know, we must have had 10 corners in the first half an hour. 13. 13, yeah. So, in the first half. And the kickers made a couple of good saves. We've, we've had a couple of good efforts. And, uh, but it's a, you know, Phil just said it's the best goal he's ever, ever been scored against him. And I think... You know, you've got to applaud it. It was an unbelievable strike. You know, no one would have saved it. No keeper in the world would have saved it. Um, but having said that, you know, we, we we kept going, and then we made a we've made a poor mistake for the second goal. Uh, really poor mistake. But we still created chances, and we've moved the ball well. Got some good areas. Um, you know, we just again, it's, I think we needed a score when we were right on top. And then the third goal just after half time was was a real killer blow, and it sort of it killed the game a little bit. Um, you know, as many as many times we got in the final third, you know, we, we, we didn't really um, you know, create too many scoring goal scoring chances. Um, but you know, it sort of killed it killed the game really. And um, you know, they were just you know they, they counter attack you very well. They got some powerful players up front, and the keeper kicks it a mile. And you know, they're very strong, and, and two centre halves for them are, are, are dominant, and they win lots of headers, and they play forward. And um, you know, our two centre halves, you know, obviously. Wills made a mistake, and they got um, you know, second half when uh, when we were pushing forward. It, it was they were trying to counter attack us. We, we, we dealt with most things pretty well, to be honest. But you know, we just couldn't get the goal, and, that, and obviously that's everyone's going to look at the scoreline and think it was a comfortable victory. But it's anything but that. And that's exactly it. It's now six consecutive home wins for Lincoln City. But in that first half, the, one of the Lincoln supporters in front of me in the tea bar said the, the better side are losing, and that was it. You say the thirteen corners. <laughs> But Maybe. Steve, that's, that's life, you know. <laughs> I've just said to the boys in there, you know, we can either get down about this and, and sulk about it, mm. or we can look at how we've played mm. and look at how we've, we've brought three three new players in today um, and played that well in the first half, particularly. And uh, you know, we've got to take that into into Tuesday. But we've we we have got to score goals. But I think what we saw in the first half, particularly with Ryan and you know Brett had a couple of good chances. Danny East had a good shot. The keeper made a couple of good saves. You know, we. We looked like we were, could be dangerous, and you know, it's gonna, hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Hopefully, we can, we can start hitting the net very, very soon. But certainly, the signs were there that um, you know the three new additions were were good ones. And exactly, the three three debutants all straight in for their for their full debuts. Ryan Jarvis and Brett Williams, a bit of a partnership straight away. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, Ryan played played Brett in for a chance. I think he got under his feet a little bit, and then you know, missed the target. It was disappointing. Um, but he's clever. He keeps the ball. Um, he, he, you know, you see, Lincoln are a good side. You know, they're they're on a really good run at the moment. It's a tough place to come, but you know, we dominated the ball and we got it into good. But we didn't just keep it for the sake of it. We got it in wide areas. We got lots of crosses in. As you say, we had 13 corners at that that much time. Out of those corners, we still could have attacked it a bit better, but we still did have a couple of good opportunities from there. And um, you know, they were having to throw everything on the line and having to defend with all their all their might, but uh, we just couldn't get over the line. And then. You know, obviously the goal is a, is a bit of a blow, and, and just before half time, that the second goal with the mistake, you know, we've obviously got to do a lot better than that. And, and if we go in at one 0 then you got a little of a chance. But then they scored straight after half time as well, which which is another scrappy goal, which you know, just a, they were first to things in the box, and, and that's that's the key. And Danny East as well on the right of midfield. I suppose him and Jaden Gibbs down the right offers. They're both. Adept, equally adept going forward and defending. It's a good partnership there as well. I thought he was really good. I thought Danny was really good. He hasn't played a lot of football. You know, he, was, he did well to last as long as he did, but he's a clever player. When the ball's on the left-hand side, he finds good areas to get in. When he's wide, he, he, he wants to deliver the ball into the box. He played a couple of really good balls in. Um, you know, one for Wills that he nodded back for Brett to have a shot. And, uh, you know, his delivery was excellent. And he worked ever so hard. And, um, you know, I was really, really pleased with, with all the, the new three players. Matt Saunders... You know, just did, does the simple thing. He keeps the ball moving. Um, yeah, we just need to, to be a little bit more dynamic going forward. Um, and I think you saw with a Lincoln side who are full of confidence with their front players that you know they they take their chances and and, and that's why they, they're where they are. And Danny East on set pieces as well. His delivery caused a few problems. To say with 13 corners, you'd, you'd hope that they bear a bit more fruit. Steve, you're standing there asking me the questions, and you, you, you know, it's hard for you to ask the questions because you know we've played well, but we lost three 0 and and you know I think Chris will be saying that he, you know, he'll probably be saying that they deserved it, but 
you know, I think deep down he, at half time he would have been delighted to get in at half time. Um, you know, with with ten minutes to go in that half, and then all of a sudden he's going in two 0 down, and and uh, everyone's a bit shell shocked on both sides, really. Mm. But lots of positives, you say, going into Kidderminster, and I suppose it's similar to what we said after the two games against Barnet. That sort of performance on another day will will get the results that yeah, they deserve. We just got, yeah, we just got to reproduce it. You know, it's all right. You know, we've had some good amount of fans here today. You know, you'd like to think that they looked at it rationally, and and you know. As as they did, and that we were, you know, we, we played pretty well against a very good side, and uh, you know, obviously we're not winning games, and we, we've lost we lost quite a few games recently, but we everyone can see we're making the effort, and we're, we're you know everyone's given everything they can. We brought three new players in, and I think we've enhanced the squad. Uh, we're still looking to do that, and uh, you know, we're not standing still and just accepting losing. No one likes losing. We're all devastated in there that we've lost the game, but we've got. A, I've got to get the lads up for Tuesday and, and if we reproduce the form that we did in the first half particularly and, and spells in the second half as well where we had some good opportunities and good areas and kept some good pressure on then it's got to turn sooner or later. And that you, you highlighted ball retention as one of the key factors in, in a resurgence. Did you see those signs out there that say Ryan Jarvis, not a target man but he did play that, that kind of focal point role well? Yeah, he, he gets into good areas and he keeps the ball for us and that means we're not defending you know, for as much time. Um, yeah, I thought the midfield players, you know, we, Sam Hatton started in there and Forbesy came on and we just, you know, it's, you know, in, in areas from deep when we're under pressure, we, we, we probably tried to play a bit, little bit too much and got caught on it a few times, but, um, you know, they, there was a, a lot of belief in what we were doing and a lot of confidence in having the ball and you've got to, you've got to be brave to have the ball, especially when you're 3-0 down and things aren't going right. They still wanted the ball, they still wanted to pass it, we're still trying to go forward. And, and you know, that was that was for me that was the, the pleasing aspect that they were still that intent to drive forward. We weren't accepting um, losing. You know, we didn't let our heads drop. We kept going. Um, but we've lost the game, so we've got to respond again on Tuesday.